actually this uh, lecture is also uh, online on uh, webinar so people uh, who are watching this so we just have to wait for few minutes the bit go three minutes more than i'll start but before we start that i'll like to give you uh, my brief introduction uh, my name is uh, dr mohammad khuram khan and uh, i joined uh, center of excellence in february 2009 this year this is year 09 and months back and before that i was doing a job as an assistant professor at dhariya university uh, karachi pakistan and uh, before that uh, in uh, 2006 i got my phd uh, in uh, information and communication engineering from southwest jorhat university of china okay then uh, i did job in pakistan then i uh, you know two years then i proceeded to saudi arabia and currently i am working as assistant professor in this center i think uh, all of you are familiar with center of excellence because now we are you know uh, endeavoring to do something in uh, promotion of information security research and uh, information assurance uh, you know research in the kingdom and it's the first endeavor uh, we have started uh, with the help of ministry of higher education of saudi arabia and uh, it's led by dr khalid al ghabbar who is you know one of the pioneers and the founding director of this center okay so lastly i gave a lecture on uh, research strategies for beginners in april 2009 okay but that that lecture was actually uh, for the starters that if you want to start research then uh, what should you do and uh, uh, what kind of things you should know for starting uh, your career as a researcher and uh, how to write papers and uh, how to read papers and uh, what things you should know for uh, starting your career as a researcher so this is this is the second lecture of that series that uh, explore the research in detail that uh, how to write paper and how to publish paper this kind of things the uh, title of this the title of this presentation is uh, writing and publishing scientific papers especially uh, we uh, people uh, in the third world countries are always facing this problem of uh, publishing papers like we see the advanced countries like usa or uk or canada or germany france and many other countries even china china they are you know doing a lot they are publishing a lot of papers in international journals and conferences but we are a little bit behind even we have the potential we are the same as them we are human being we are produced by allah but why we are far behind are, because there are so many other things also which i don't want to you know discuss in detail but the things also are that we are uh, lacking in the technical skills of writing papers and we are you know just lacking behind some knowledge of uh, where to publish the papers because of there are so many you know uh, problems for that so this endeavor is uh, motivated by these facts that we should uh, teach our students at king saud university or uh, uh, in the kingdom of saudi arabia everywhere, everywhere in the world who are sitting and uh, watching this lecture or listening this lecture online that uh, how we can improve our you know potential or strategies to write technical papers especially in science and engineering maybe you can say electrical and electronics engineering people because i don't know your background but i suppose that mostly people here uh, are studying and they have the background of computer science or electrical engineering or electronic engineering so we we'll see that uh, how we can publish papers in the good journals or conferences okay and uh, this is my email address mkoram@ksu.edu.sa and this is my web page you can explore uh, Uh, more things that what I am doing recently and uh, what kind of work I have done in my past. <coughs> right, and this is the outline of uh, today's lecture. That first we will discuss why do we publish papers. Why? What is the reason? Because uh, there is a motivation for doing any uh, any work. So why is the very important question to ask? Second is goals of a research publication. What are the goals and objectives we want to achieve by publishing a paper? and uh, we'll see types of research paper how many types of research paper like uh, when you start writing a paper then you must know that uh, which kind of paper are you writing you are writing a technical paper or white paper or you are writing a short paper or survey paper so we should also know the details of each and every paper and uh, we'll also explore some typical contents of a research paper like uh, uh, every everything you write you have to make the contents of that 
right for example introduction and abstract and conclusion and methodology and these kind of stuff we'll explore every aspect of that and turn around time for publication especially for the journals and maybe we'll be talking about the electrical engineering or computer science because we are the people of electrical engineering and computer science and how long it does it take to publish a paper in journal and uh, you know to assign a paper to associate editor and get uh, published in the journal and uh, we'll see a typical referee report form that what referee needs from us in a paper when we write a paper then we should also focus that we are writing a paper that what referee could need from that paper and how he will evaluate that paper so we have to you know uh, synchronize our paper according to the referee needs if your paper is not according to the that uh, you know needs of the referee what he wants in the paper then it, it would be definitely rejected by the referee so we should know also what referee needs in the paper and uh, we will also explore some venues of research publication that where we should publish the paper either we publish in uh, any you know uh, normal journal and we have to see the worth of a paper that it should go to a transaction or to a normal journal or where to, it should go it should go to an isi index scie journal or where it should go so we, we should also know the venues of the publication and in the last uh, my presentation last lecture in april we as also explored uh, this thing and i will just also give uh, uh, you an idea of that because some people are uh, new here and uh, there will be some tips of becoming a good researcher that how can we improve our research capability and how can we improve uh, our research strength uh, being a good researcher so first firstly i would like to ask a question that uh, why do we publish any comments right testing the quality of our our work and uh, this is also not any more okay anybody else any comments hmm? promotion yeah so the things which you are telling are the same which i will uh, you know disclose here uh, also yeah this is being a researcher we need to be self satisfied said that all knowledge in the world actually you see the practice of allah i just give you the example that how allah gave us the you know quran by written form okay we got the book holy quran in the written so all knowledge in the world is shared by writing by books and by uh, papers so this is also the practice that when you uh, want to disseminate knowledge then it is better to write something because it can be given to anybody you know it can be saved in the form but what is what about the man if we remember something we can die we can finish or knowledge can be you know finished but if we write something then it can exist for long like the books like the uh, scriptures or like research papers it can uh, you know be saved in the writing form so all knowledge in the world is mainly disseminated by the writings and secondly like you say that dissemination of findings and facts through research because we want to disseminate our uh, knowledge and research what we found by our uh, experiments so we want to give the knowledge to the other people so we want to disseminate our knowledge and thirdly publication is an important evidence to show your qualification and strength in your career shows your you know strength how uh, good you are in your research area and how much potential do you have uh, to do or to pursue a research and uh, of course it takes recognition when you publish some papers like you publish a paper in uh, if you are working in uh, image processing or pattern recognition if you publish paper in transaction farming it poly transaction then of course it takes recognition to you or maybe you are working in uh, uh, some other area and uh, there is top journal and you publish in that then it gives you recognition and as, as well as for the institution also like king shodh university is you know motivating all the you know faculty members to write and publish papers and if papers are published then you are getting a lot of incentives you are getting you know a couple of thousands of uh, uh, saudi riyals for publishing papers in is index journals and uh, 
because most of uh, you are student and some are you know researchers and uh, uh, faculty being a student that one has to submit thesis as well as some papers for the degree requirement it's also the requirement especially for the phd students must uh, have to publish uh, maybe uh, one scie paper in international journals i think this is also the requirement of king's university many other universities in the world have requirement to publish papers in international journals 